The Permian period, a time so far removed from our own that it seems almost alien. The landscapes were unlike anything we see today with strange and unfamiliar terrains that would seem otherworldly to us. Spanning nearly 47 million years, from 299 to 252 million years ago, it represents a pivotal chapter in Earth's history. This vast expanse of time saw the Earth undergo significant transformations, both in its physical structure and the life forms it supported. It's a period marked by dramatic geological upheavals, radical shifts in climate, and the rise and fall of extraordinary creatures. Volcanic eruptions reshaped the landscape, while shifting tectonic plates created new mountain ranges and ocean basins. It is the story of life on the brink, culminating in the greatest extinction event our planet has ever witnessed. This event, known as the Permian-Triassic Extinction, wiped out a staggering number of species forever altering the course of evolution. Imagine a world vastly different from our own, a world where the air was thick with volcanic ash, and the land was dominated by vast deserts and lush forests. A world dominated by a single gigantic landmass, Pangaea surrounded by a single colossal ocean panthalassa. This supercontinent was home to a diverse array of ecosystems, from arid deserts to dense forests. This is the stage upon which the Permian drama unfolds, a world teeming with life, but also fraught with challenges. The climate was harsh and unpredictable, with periods of extreme heat and cold. The Permian witnessed the rise of the first truly terrestrial ecosystems, the evolution of the ancestors of mammals, and the reign of some of the most extraordinary creatures to ever walk the Earth. These early mammals and reptiles adapted to the changing environment, developing new ways to survive and thrive. But this period of incredible innovation and diversification was not without its perils. Natural disasters such as volcanic eruptions and shifting tectonic plates posed constant threats to life. The Permian culminated in an extinction event so severe, so cataclysmic, that it nearly extinguished life itself. This event, known as the Great Dying, was the most severe extinction event in Earth's history. The Permian extinction, often referred to as the Great Dying, wiped out an estimated 96% of marine species. The oceans, once teeming with life, were left nearly barren, and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. The land, too, was devastated with many species of plants and animals disappearing forever. Understanding the Permian, therefore, is not just about delving into a distant past. It's about gaining insights into the resilience of life, the interconnectedness of Earth systems, and the potential fragility of our own existence. The lessons we learn from this period can help us understand the challenges we face today. Join me, then, as we embark on a journey through time to explore this fascinating and tumultuous period we will travel back millions of years to witness the dramatic changes that shaped our planet. We will unravel the mysteries of the Permian, from the rise of bizarre reptiles to the devastating extinction that marked its end. These creatures, with their strange and unique adaptations, offer a glimpse into a world that was both familiar and alien. We will witness the evolution of the first creatures to walk on land, the emergence of vast deserts, and the formation of the supercontinent Pangaea, these events set the stage for the dramatic changes that would follow, and in doing so we will gain a deeper understanding of our planet's history and our own place within its grand narrative. The story of the Permian is a story of survival, adaptation, and the incredible resilience of life on Earth. The early Permian world was a world in transition, a time of profound and dynamic change that would shape the future of life on Earth. The supercontinent Gondwana, a relic of an earlier time, continued to drift northwards, inching closer to its eventual collision with the northern continents. This slow but relentless movement of landmasses was a key factor in the shifting climates and ecosystems of the period. The climate was in a state of flux, with the last vestiges of the late Carboniferous Ice Age slowly receding. This retreat of the ice brought about significant changes in the environment transforming the landscape in ways that would have profound implications for the life forms that inhabited it. Glaciers that had once gripped the southern regions melted away, giving rise to vast swampy forests. These new wetlands were teeming with life, creating a rich and diverse habitat that supported a wide array of species. These lush, humid environments provided ideal conditions for the proliferation of plant and animal life. 
The dense vegetation and abundant water sources created a thriving ecosystem where life could flourish. Giant ferns and horsetails towered over the landscape, their fronds reaching for the sky. These towering plants were some of the dominant flora of the time, creating a canopy that sheltered the myriad creatures below. Primitive conifers, the ancestors of today's pine trees began to appear, their seeds offering a new and successful strategy for reproduction. These early conifers were well adapted to the changing conditions, and their presence marked a significant evolutionary step forward. The undergrowth teemed with insects, spiders, and other invertebrates, their buzzing and chirping filling the air. These small creatures played a crucial role in the ecosystem, serving as both pollinators and prey for larger animals. Amphibians, still reliant on water for reproduction, thrived in these humid environments. Their moist skin and aquatic larvae made the swampy forests an ideal habitat for these early vertebrates. However, a profound change was underway. The evolutionary pressures of the time were driving significant adaptations in the animal kingdom, leading to the emergence of new and more complex life forms. The evolution of the amniotic egg, a self-contained environment that allowed animals to reproduce away from water, freed vertebrates from their dependence on aquatic habitats. This innovation was a game-changer, enabling the colonization of new and diverse terrestrial environments. This revolutionary development paved the way for the rise of truly terrestrial ecosystems, dominated by reptiles. These early reptiles were able to exploit new niches and resources, leading to a diversification of species and the establishment of complex food webs. These early reptiles, though small and unassuming, were the pioneers of a new era. Their ability to lay eggs on land and their adaptations for a fully terrestrial lifestyle set the stage for the dominance of reptiles in the Permian period and beyond. They were the ancestors of the dinosaurs, the birds, and even ourselves. The evolutionary lineage that began in the Permian would eventually give rise to some of the most iconic and successful groups of animals in Earth's history. Among these early reptiles a group known as the synapsids emerged. These creatures were distinct from other reptiles and would play a crucial role in the evolutionary history of vertebrates. These mammal-like reptiles as they are often called, possessed several key features that set them apart from other reptiles. Their unique characteristics would eventually lead to the rise of mammals. They had a single opening behind each eye socket in their skulls, a feature shared by mammals today. This adaptation allowed for stronger jaw muscles and more efficient feeding strategies. They also developed differentiated teeth, with incisors for nipping, canines for tearing, and molars for grinding. This dental specialization enabled them to process a variety of foods, giving them a significant advantage in their environment. This adaptation allowed them to exploit a wider range of food sources, giving them a competitive edge in the ever-changing Permian world. The ability to adapt to different diets and environments was a key factor in their success and survival. The early Permian landscapes were teeming with life, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the organisms that inhabited them. As the world continued to change, these early pioneers laid the groundwork for the incredible diversity of life that would follow in the millennia to come. The synapsids were not merely content with surviving, they thrived. These early ancestors of mammals were incredibly adaptable and resourceful, finding ways to flourish in a variety of environments. As the early Permian progressed, they diversified rapidly, evolving into a dazzling array of shapes and sizes. This period was marked by an explosion of evolutionary creativity, with synapsids filling numerous ecological niches. Some, like the sail-backed Dimetrodon, grew to enormous sizes. Their imposing sails perhaps used for thermoregulation or display. These sails might have helped regulate their body temperature by absorbing or dissipating heat, or they could have been used to attract mates or intimidate rivals. Others, like the dog-sized Biarmasuchus, were active predators, their powerful limbs and sharp teeth making them formidable hunters. These agile creatures roamed the ancient forests, stalking their prey with a combination of stealth and speed. The success of the synapsids lay in their unique physiology. Their bodies were built to adapt and thrive in a variety of conditions, giving them a significant edge over other prehistoric creatures. Unlike their reptilian cousins, synapsids developed a more upright posture. This anatomical shift allowed them to move more efficiently and support their body weight better, which was crucial for their survival and hunting strategies. Their limbs were positioned more directly beneath their bodies, allowing for greater agility and speed. 
This adaptation enabled them to chase down prey and evade predators with remarkable dexterity. This more efficient locomotion gave them an advantage in pursuing prey and escaping predators. It also allowed them to explore new territories and exploit different food sources, further enhancing their survival prospects. Additionally, there's growing evidence to suggest that some synapsids may have possessed a rudimentary form of warm-bloodedness. This trait would have been a game-changer, enabling them to maintain a stable internal temperature and remain active in cooler climates. This ability to regulate their body temperature would have allowed them to remain active in a wider range of environments, further contributing to their success. Whether in the heat of the day or the chill of the night, these adaptable creatures could continue their activities without being hindered by external temperatures. The rise of the synapsids marked a turning point in the history of life on Earth. Their evolutionary advancements set the stage for the emergence of more complex life forms, paving the way for future dominance by mammals. Here, for the first time, we see the emergence of creatures that share a direct lineage with mammals. These early synapsids were the pioneers of mammalian traits, setting the foundation for the diverse and complex mammals we see today. These proto-mammals, as we might call them, were still a far cry from the furry, warm-blooded animals we know today. However, they exhibited key characteristics that would eventually evolve into the defining features of mammals. However, they possessed the key evolutionary innovations that would eventually give rise to the mammalian lineage. Traits such as differentiated teeth, more efficient metabolism, and advanced sensory capabilities were beginning to take shape. Their story is a testament to the power of evolution, showcasing how natural selection can shape life in remarkable ways. The gradual accumulation of advantageous traits over millions of years led to the incredible diversity of life we see today. As we delve deeper into the Permian, we will witness the continued evolution of these fascinating creatures and their rise to dominance in a world on the brink of profound change. The stage was set for the next great chapter in the history of life on Earth, as the synapsids continued to evolve and adapt to their ever-changing environment.